You know, the Daytona 500 is our Super Bowl. That is the biggest race that we run. Of all the races out there, I think that every driver here in the garage, if they had to pick one, this would be the one they wanted to win. People are everywhere. They're trying to get the cars prepared. You become a loner on race morning. You want to be that way. And the most relaxing part of the race is when you finally get started, and you're probably 40 or 50 laps into the race, and things are starting to settle down. That's what you're here for. I've been doing it all my life. Racing is all I know, and to me, going fast is just a way of life. Everybody shows up here with their best of everything. Best uniforms, best paint jobs, best race cars, new sponsors, new faces. The preparation is about a two-month long thing. You just work towards the Daytona 500. Man, it's just an unbelievable experience. The atmosphere, the excitement, everything that's going on, and I, I'll never forget my first day 2500. This is the race. There will never be a race that will replace the Daytona 500. Nowhere, it doesn't matter how much money they pay or where they race it. But I know everybody in this drive area wants to win the Daytona 500. Once you get a reminder, I'd like to make sure to go by and pick up your copy of the Citizen Progress. I'll sell you on the main grandstand and then you'll carry it to the Daytona 500. Everybody looks at us like we're the car to beat. When I light that engine on Sunday morning, 
It's up to me. I'm the one that's got to get the job done. It is a pretty exciting morning, anticipating the race. You've got your game face on. It's uh, pretty hard to focus on anything else other than the Daytona 500. Sunday, I'm on a mission. It's just whatever it takes. You got to hang on to that thing, run it sideways for 20 laps. You're just going to try to hold on and do whatever you got to do. Maybe you wind up spun out up against the fence, you know, but uh, you got to take that chance to win the Daytona 500. Truck 52, get ready. We're going to need you to go up and turn four. experience and uh, know what's going to happen in every race it's really not so much conditioning as it is it's just who's got the heart to, to let it all hang out and get the job done over three million dollars up for grabs today here in daytona the winner taking home over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars the biggest race of the year the biggest race for any race driver in Winston Cup competition. They want to win this. This makes a career. My office is in that race car. I got that seat nice and comfortable. I got the pedals where I want them. Now I get to do what I came for, and I'm as focused as I can possibly be. When I get in my car, that's the most wonderful feeling in the whole world. I can start concentrating on what I do best, and that's drive race cars.
your leaders in the pits. They're going to change all four tires on his Chevrolet. Dennis Schrader swings into his pitch. Jeff Gordon is in. Jerry Labonte is in. Bobby Labonte is in. Brother of the pit lane, Ricky Rudd is in. Dale Earnhardt is in. And so is Dale Jarrett. Tires and Unical Gasoline, the story on this end. Now in here, left, car, left, car, left, right in here. <laughs> It's time to make the proudest left turn a driver can make at Daytona. The turn into victory lane. 